Hey there, welcome to Illumin Church today. So happy to have you. My name is Nathan. I get to be the pastor here at Illumin Church in Rock Hill. And today we are starting a brand new series simply called Friends. And throughout the series, we're going to look at what the Bible calls friendship, what it says about us being friends with each other, and are we friends with God? Um, we'll talk about differences between different kinds of friends, being friends with all different types of people, and more. So I'm excited you're here. And this morning, or this evening, or this afternoon, or whenever you're watching this, um, we're going to start by looking at some words from the Book of Wisdom um, in the Bible. It's called Proverbs. And here's the first passage that I want to share with you. It's from Proverbs 17, verse 17. Here's what it says. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Now, there are four directives right below this video, and I want you to go through them right now. I'm not even going to say them to you. You can just go through them below the video right now, and then you can hit pause now, and then when you're done going through the directives, you can come back. Ready? Go. Okay. You wrote down good things about friends and how they've failed you. You wrote down how you've been a good friend and how you have also failed as a friend. And now I want to share with you one more passage from that same book of wisdom, the book of Proverbs. This is chapter 18, verse 24. It says, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Now, this passage, it was not written specifically with Jesus in mind, but you and I, looking back, we get to apply it to Jesus because he is the perfect friend who sticks closer than a brother. He is always close to you. He always cares. He never leaves you high and dry. He never holds a grudge. He always forgives, even for the times when you and I fail to be a friend to others, even for the times when we fail to be a friend to Jesus himself. So, go ahead and listen to our first song this morning. Sing along. It's a great song, full of good news. It speaks more about this fact that Jesus is our perfect friend.